What you are? I gotta buy rubber boots. <laughs> you and me both, babe. You and me both. You have rubber boots and you wore your cowboy boots. Good morning, everybody. Don't worry about what the CP is saying. Huh. <laughs> huh. How y'all doing this morning? Well, we're in the truck. We're hooked to the big old gooseneck stock trailer. Is this open more? Nah. If I can't fit through that hole, then frig, there's no hole big enough for me. Yeah, I know. Uh, and we're loaded with the first load of cows. So we've got eight cows, one calf on board right now. And we're heading over to the rented pasture. So we got that corral set up over there and the whole idea of that is simply this. Like, I don't have to specifically take specific cow-calf pairs. They're already all sorted off. So everything that we sorted off, we just bring them over there, lock them in that corral. And when we got the last load in, that's when we could let everybody out and they can mother up. So we will bring you guys back in a little bit once we get there. Alrighty, let's do this, right? There's one calf in here, guys. Hopefully he's okay. I had eight cows in here. Hopefully he didn't get stepped on. There he is. He's all good. He's all good. Just like that. That, and then bring this gate shut. Ugh. Pardon? Yeah, this is what I'm tying it with. Uh, so, that's load number one. We only got three more to go. Talk to you later. Safety lock on. That's another six cows in this load. And I can't remember how many calves. There's roughly six calves in there too. <coughs> trying, trying not to load it too heavy so that the calves don't get stepped on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, later. Alrighty guys. So we're on our last load now. Uh for some reason I was thinking we had like 25 or 26 pairs. Well boy was I wrong. We only got 24. But in uh in the big scheme of things, having 24 pairs over there is probably a good thing. Because last year we had 18 pairs, four heifers, and two bulls. And it was a struggle to have them on decent pasture until Thanksgiving in Canada, which is basically right around the 10th of October. That's when we brought them home. So now they... I do have access to other pasture lands over there, but at the same token, they plowed under 70 to 80 acres of old pasture land too. So, with all that being said, instead of taking 25 to 30 pairs, we're taking 24 actual pairs. Everybody has a calf here. And we... Uh, We uh, still have to bring a bull over but that's not gonna happen for another month basically the 20th roughly of June 25th of June is when we'll bring bulls over so yeah uh, CP is not with me right now she is in Little Red she's gonna bring tractor over because when we get everybody there and together then we're gonna let them out of that corral over there 
and we have to disassemble that crowl and get it off that stubble field because here basically roughly end of the month they want to seed that what they're seeding it to I'm not 100% sure but they want to seed something into that stubble field so so yeah we got to disassemble that crowl so I figured we might as well just do it today so we've been at it here for basically an hour and 10 minutes at this point and by noon all of the crowl will be disassembled and out of there and we should be home for lunch right on we'll talk to you guys in a little bit all right here we go last load This is a mucky mess now. Let's go, you little guys. Come on. Ah, I got splattered again. There, that's all of them now. that here comes CP with the tractor we'll close this got to open this and the plan is to let them out around this dugout make sure all the gates are closed up whoop I'm dropping you guys here we go Sorry about the sky view. Basically, I just grab this panel now and move it over like this. Yeah. And let him go. Are you counting? the last calf born at the farm so far. Oh yeah, look at that green grass. Oh. And this way, now all we have to do is, well they know where the dugout is, right? So when we take the crowl apart, this gate will get left open so they can go out that way. And we have to bring salt and mineral out here. Uh, we got a pretty good deal going on here where the landlord looks after the fence and moves cows from pasture paddock to pasture paddock. And we have to supply the salts and the minerals. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. 
We'll bring you back later. Alrighty, well, I just got three panels here on the front end of the front end loader, obviously. Uh, we're just gonna get them off of this stubble field. We'll put them in the pat that little paddock pasture out here for now. I'll grab these three, get them over here, then I'll grab the other three, get them out, and then CP can take off home with the truck and trailer, and I'll close up these gates so they can't come into this little pasture where we're going with this stuff. Put these out of the way. Something like this. Open sesame on the grapple. La di da. Now for the other three. <laughs> Bring guys back in bit. All righty. There. All six panels are sitting in the yard over here. The farmer's yard where I rent this grassland from so that way they're there we need to use them over the summer all we got to do is whip over here with the tractor set a pen up out in the pasture wherever if we have to catch a cow or calf for whatever reason right it'll just make it handier anyways he does have a crowl in the yard here I've never used it yet um, previous renters have used it but me, myself, I have not. Ooh, so, anyway, let's get this tractor home and uh, we still have one cow that we gotta get in onto grass. Uh, that was that one that had that late fall calf from last fall, last year. And we just sold the calf and I'm gonna get her out on grass yet. So, we'll go and get that done and talk to you guys, I don't know, a little bit later on. Alrighty guys, so instead of chasing that cow out on foot, because we ain't got no quad. You know you're getting old when. <laughs> no, it's not you getting old. You know you're fat when. Oh. <laughs> you were just saying last night you have to get out and walk more. Blah, blah, blah. Quit telling stories. Well, I'm just saying what you said. Anyway, we decided to uh, run her up the chute, load her on a trailer, and bring her out to the pasture. Now, I just want to show something to you guys. Okay. You can see this grass right here. Right here. We didn't have really any manure on it. Now, you get up higher on the hill, and you can see that grass is a darker green, and it's taller because there we had harrowed manure around. You can see the spots, right? Where it's darker green. Even on this hill, where it's darker green, that's where there was a lot more manure harrowed around. It does make a difference when you can move that manure around and especially if you can get some rain to help wash those nutrients down into the grass, to the roots for the grass. That's for darn sure. It makes a heck of a difference. Yes, we still have a big manure pile here and I could scoop some of it up. Probably should pile it. Maybe that'll be something I can do on days when I'm not busy doing anything else. CP will do it for me. I know that look, guys. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, I think you have other more important things. More important things? Yes. And we've got bait stations out. How good they're working right now, I have no idea. But there's bait stations out. Watch the thingy. The thingy. Yeah, I'm watching the thingy, bait. But the grass is definitely coming now with the rain. 
get some heat units on there and everything should start growing like a son of a gun right okay we're gonna get backed up to this gateway and we'll get this cow out of here i'll bring you back in a few minutes i gotta pull the handle on the side <laughs> Pull this, gate opens on the inside. Go sure in the front end. Come on, girl. Out you go. Go on. Out you go. Hey. Go pull the truck ahead so I got room to close the gate better. Thank you. Now we're gonna have to wash the trailer out. There we go. Okay, I gotta close this gate, so I'll talk to you guys later. Ah, oh, yeah. The job everyone loves, right? How many of you guys out there wash your trailers out whenever you're done using them? Let me know in your comment section. So yeah, we're gonna I hosed it out, I hosed it down, soaked everything up good, and I'm going to scrape it, and then we'll hose it some more to loosen everything up some more, and then we'll hit her with the pressure washer. But she's a little dirty. It's amazing how much manure, 20 cows will friggin', or 24 cows, and a few, few calves will friggin' uh, create when you stick them in a confined space. How's that sound? But... By keeping them cleaned out as best as possible, whenever you possibly can, just helps them last a lot longer. Otherwise, you end up with a trailer that's a piece of crap, rusted out hunk of junk. Uh, so, and this one has had work done on it before we bought it, so we're trying to preserve it the best we can. Anyway, let's get at her. <laughs> Gotta love this job. Woohoo! Who wants a job? CP did it last time, so I guess it's my turn this time. Definitely gonna need a shower after we get this sucker cleaned out. I don't think uh, my buddy and his wife will appreciate us coming for barbecue this evening with me smelling like the back end of a cow's ass. <laughs> well, my buddy probably wouldn't mind too much, but I'm not sure how his wife would feel about it. Probably be the last time they invite us over. <laughs> Talk to you guys in a bit.
There we go, guys. Figured I might as well give the old Dodge a spray job, too. Trailer's all done, inside and out. There's a lot of crap in there. What a pile of stuff back here. But he's all cleaned out, inside and out. Right on. Sweet. Mm, so we'll let that slam shut. And then we can go park this big bad boy. There's a big bang, right? Ah. And then we can let the horses out of the barn because they are still locked up. They've got feed in there, but I'm sure they'd want a drink by now. Mm, so let me close this up. We'll get her going, Parker, and I'll bring you guys back after. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's just about barbecuing time. Mm, so got the old Dodge cleaned up a little bit, but see that big gray window? That's what happens when you get the water from my well on the windows. They look like crap. But I just give them a quick rinse job. Nothing fancy here, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, you know how she goes. I'll call her quits here for now. Give us the old thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. Tell your friends and neighbors, get them to come on board and subscribe with you. Let's get that subscriber list. Let's try and get her over 600 here within the next week or so if we can. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, I got to let you go. Again, comment, subscribe, and fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. Catch you all later.